What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and today it is Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone, and we are taking a look at a spooky U2's. Pretty sure you can actually see me. Uh, yeah, you can in the reflection. Um, so there you go. It is Halloween, it is spooky month, and what better time to sort of take a look at these new Halluva Boss um, U2's than Halloween itself. Because what's scarier than two imps coming at you on Halloween night trying to murder you and take your soul to hell. So we have this nice sort of cardboard, sort of sleek design on the outside which has an engraved U2's and sort of the Millie sort of design on both sides and even her name at the top. And I have the rest of the the sort of U2's line. I've ordered Fizzaroli so he should be arriving in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, next couple of months. And whenever he does arrive, he does arrive. But we do have this really nice sleeve here, which is engraved, like I said before. does have this sort of bumpy lettering on top and the sort of bumpy uh, Millie Glam that's going on there. And she has the Yeehaw down the side. She has Millie, uh, part of the U2's collection. She's number five in the collection, which does lead me to believe that Fizzaroli is number three. Um, it is the only possible explanation because Stolas is zero, Blitz is one, Luna is two, Moxie is four, and Millie is five. So that can only leave Fizzaroli to be number three. And that kind of upsets me because uh, if you're displaying these, it sort of separates them all if you're doing them in number order with like the gang being split up by Fizzaroli sitting f middle, front, center. Um, but yeah. Uh, we have the back of the box as well, which is looking for a bloodthirsty, adorable killer to put on your desk slash shelf. Well then, do we have the bitch for you? Fresh from Wrath, the ever-capable Millie can take care of any of your assassination needs, or just be there for you when you need a friend. This is an adult collectible, not a toy recommended for ages 15 and up, because it is... Um, a, you know, it's an expensive figure, uh, and it's also based off an adult animation, an indie animation, which you can watch right here on YouTube if you do want to. So after this video, I do recommend that you go check out Helluva Boss, and also go check, go check out U2s, because you can buy all these products on there for £35, and they are currently being shipped right now, so you can go get it, and it should arrive in the next couple of days. If you do live in the UK, you're going to have to pay a little bit extra for shipping just for it to come over here because this is an American brand. And we do have a really nice sort of design of Millie on the back, like the other boxes with Luna, Blitzo, and also Moxie. We have a sort of glam of each character on the box. So opening this up and probably seeing a little bit of a message, y'all seen Moxie, which matches Moxie's um, y'all seen Millie. Um, or uh, have you seen Millie? And a lot of you are going to be upset with me for opening these, uh, because they are collectible and they are expensive, but for each of my sort of U2s and Funko Pop reviews going forward, I am going to be opening them and taking a look at the figure outside the box, because it's just a little bit more exciting for you guys. You get to see the figure out of the box, you get to see the figure in a little bit more detail, and there is a couple of sort of details that you wouldn't be able to see uh, from the character if they were just kept in the box. So, opening this up here, she is quite heavy, she's quite a hefty figure, and I really like how the axe is, like, partially in the ground, it looks like that it is stuck in the ground there. Ooh, that's not good, she wobbles, she is a little back heavy with all her hair. She looks quite cute, she's sat in a very cutesy pose, very cutesy, very demure, very meaningful, very mindful, and she has her nice axe there with the sort of logo on the top. She has quite small horns, but very big eyelashes, which all are quite sharp. They're quite spiky. Again, this is a vinyl plastic, no rubber involved. So again, now I can see why it's sort of told that you have to be like 15 and up to have this because they are quite like hefty. It does look like she's shitting her tail, I will be honest. It looks like her tail is like curling out like shit. Uh, just a little bit of a design feature that I, I, don't, I don't know if it's a feature or what, but the way she sat looks like the turd is coiling out, um, or her tail is coiling out. It has two spots uh, on the back there and a little white tip. She has a couple of rips in her trousers, which aren't print. They are actually molded in. Two more sort of spots on her elbow, and then two buttons there on her overalls with a couple extra straps around her arms. She's got the fingerless gloves on as well, and those teeth there 
And she kind of looks weird when you look at her head on just with the eye positioning. But she is still a really cool figure and I'm glad to have her because she finally finishes off my Helluva Boss sort of quad squad. You know, the, the four main guys all here, all ready, all ready to sort of throw down and party. Looks pretty cool and she isn't one of my favorite characters, but... I just had to get her. If I was getting Moxie, I had to get Millie because they're they're a duo. They're they're a match made in heaven. Well, a match made in hell, and they're just they're just together. They're together forever. And this one is really clean. And I actually do quite like it, and I do think that they all look really cool, sort of displayed together because the boxes sort of match, and it just looks really nice on a display together. I'm I'm just super hyped to actually have all these characters here. Uh, and in figure form, because these were the ones which actually made me get into U2s, made me actually buy them. I only had a couple before I made my orders, which were just like a couple of here, there buys, because I saw them in a couple of shops and I quite liked them. But these ones were the ones which actually made me do the order, because you cannot buy these ones anywhere else. I wanted Halluva Boss figures for a while now. And I knew I had to support it, so then we could get has-been hotel figures. And I have pre-ordered an angel figure, which will be arriving in March. Um, like, March time 2025. So, it's very, very early pre-order, but I don't give a shit. I need my angel, um, so he, so he's definitely on his way at some point. And, you know, we'll, we'll see that in a couple of years' times, because you 2s do take a while to get those orders out. But, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. Uh, again, definitely go check out my other YouTube reviews and also check out Halluva Boss if you haven't already because it's a really good series. So other than that, I hope you all enjoyed and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.